Hi guys, I hope you guys are doing fine. It is us back here with an interesting, interesting episode. And as you all know, it's your girl Margaret Wangi and this is the mascot Karibuni Sana and I'm with none other than my co-host. Hi, hi, hi everybody. I'm Sai Samonga. I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're finding a way to keep warm, to be excited, to love life. This is Sai Samonga. Thank you so much for the support. On the other previous videos, you've been amazing. You've been an amazing, amazing, amazing support. And I receive your love with so much excitement. This is Sai Samonga together with Max Mwangi. Thank you for liking. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming back again and stopping by to watch, to support. We love you. We love you so much. To the new subscribers, and going to the family. Yes, yeah. today, today, this is October. We are talking about cancer. The Cancer Awareness Month, right? It's yeah. the Cancer Awareness Month. Yes. And we have a guest who is going to tell us more about not just the disease, but going through it and making it out and seeing the victory of what God can do. Yes. So without any further ado, drum roll. <laughs> 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 oh, we forgot to mention we are doing this episode at the Brackenhurst and we're having some warm drinks. Yeah. So thanks to Brackenhurst for hosting us and allowing us to do this episode. Oh yeah. So, Thank you so Isaac, much. Yes. welcome. Thank Hello. you so much. Thank you. Well, my name is Isaac Bunjiri. Mm -hmm. And um, what else should I say? Tell us. <laughs> Tell us everything. <laughs> father of one oh, that's and uh, a girl? yeah a girl. Yeah, and what? I'm a cancer victim mm -hmm. and Amen. yeah yeah that, that, that's basically yeah I'm a communication specialist okay currently working for a bank in Kenya oh that's and then, let's get into it how did it all begin well I've, I've been born and brought up in Nyeri okay and uh, schooled in Nyeri primary and high school no, no, Nyeri Nyeri. No, no Nyeri Nyeri Town. Nyeri Town, yeah. 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 Pala Nyeri Baptist. Came to Nairobi in 2008. Okay. Um, yeah, that was my first time living in Nairobi. Easy times, you know, you Nairobi, then you go back. So you grew up in Nyeri? Yes. Were you a firstborn, a lastborn? No, no, lastborn. You are lastborn of how many? Lastborn of two. Two? Yeah, my big sister and my son. Oh my, you're the only guy? Yes, I'm on the only Wow, the how was growing up like? Uh, it, it was interesting. <laughs> it wasn't too interesting because to me, I tell my sister, I'm nine years. Oh, so you can imagine if you're class one, uh, I school nice. at Patari. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And but I thank God now she's my mother figure. No, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had our own fights and all that, mm. but uh, it was good. It was good. Yes, grew up in Nyeri. To go to Nairobi, 2008. Okay, or relocate to Nairobi, or. You are the one who needed to come to Nairobi. No, my sister was already here. Okay. So Nimini Lukuja, Mama Kaila Nakazi. Oh, no, Nyeri. 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 Yes. Nyeri. Oh, yes. okay. Yes. That's interesting. Did you play a sport when you were growing up? What What was it like secondary? What What do you What are your most fond memories of there? Of acting. Oh, oh, acting was is always my best best co-curricular activity. Oh. I remember even in high school, I was awarded the best actor oh. in the provincial level. Oh wow. So PSI is in the drama. Hey. At the end of the show. At the end of the show, we shall have that. We shall have that challenge Lazima, Lazima have to kick Do you have any health complications or any health challenges of growing up? Not at all. Yeah. None that you know. Zile too. Zile kubuna boy. Zile kubuna boy. No more things, yeah. Zile me kato kutu kena tufu para. So you didn't have any complications mm -hmm. whatsoever. At what point in your life did this this um C word happen to you? You see, when, when I was in high school, yeah. my mom started getting blood complications, mm -hmm. and uh, and we really struggled with mom and her journey from 2008 mm -hmm. to around 2011 when we laid her to rest. Mm -hmm. uh, may her soul continue resting in peace. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. And uh, 
I think it's true that because it was, it was a blood issue mm-hmm. and nobody came to really know what was hurting mom. Okay. And uh, mom passed on on 26th of May 2011 mm-hmm. after an operation. We thought the operation was the last resort, mm-hmm. but anyway, it was the last resort as per the doctor's procedure. God had a bigger picture for her, no more pain, mm-hmm. no more sadness. Mm. She's in a better place. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. That's true. And uh, we laid mom 2nd of June, mm-hmm. mom to rest 2nd of June 2011. Mm-hmm. And uh, to some extent, we started getting back to life upon the point. Mm-hmm. Then come January, pop! Yourself. 2012. Mimi Sina Dabu Yaku Tosh. How? Ulikuwa me donate? No. No, I've never. I never donated in high school. Okay, before you 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 you, you got these blood issues, I just want to go back to the part that you said about your mom. Yeah. Before the 2008, was she unwell at any given no, point in time? No, no. So she had a good life. She yeah, worked, she kept completely. Me, nothing, to kill nothing, kill nothing kill major kill ever kill happened. Kill. So it's not something you would. Um, it just happened all of a yes, sudden. Yes. Okay, okay. And I remember I come from school. Mm-hmm. Around April, na kufika home na pata nyumba inafungwa, curtains are closed. Then I ask my neighbors, hey, kwa ni mama kwa api? That's what I'm told. Mom is in the hospital. She's admitted at Madari Hospital. So those who know Nyeri, they know Madari Hospital. And when I went there, that's when I got the whole history. Kumbe this to wait mama mesumbuka sana without my knowledge. Without you knowing. Yes. Because now you you are with. Now I'm in school and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's amazing how much our parents go to the just protecting us and shielding us. Yes, of not knowing what, not knowing what is uh, what is what happening. What is happening. Yes. Yeah. And yes, so yes. you have just you're just grieving the process of grieving your mother and the loss of a mother and that's so weighty. Yeah. Mm. And then now you turn out you you have you don't have enough blood. Yes. Did you think it could have been probably grief? You see what happened apparently I mm-hmm. took a shower mm-hmm. on a Friday mm-hmm. and I got really tired. Mm-hmm. And you see, the, the whole thing of a shower is to rejuvenate you. And yeah. to make you relax. Yes, and feel, yeah. fresh and fresh all that. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember I had to sit on the toilet bowl. Kupumzika. I was too tired. Just from a shower? Just from a shower. Yeah. That's where my journey began. Okay. Okay. And I called my dad. He told me, no, go, go to the hospital, get tested, then let me know what happens. Mm-hmm. Nika St. Francis Kasarani. Mm-hmm. My blood levels by then were at 7. Yeah. Yet for a month, yes. yeah. 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 for a month should be between what fourteen and yeah. eighteen. Yeah, yeah. for a month. Yeah. Mm. So, did you <coughs> at any other point feel was when when your mom was was by before she 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 went to be with the Lord was it confirmed that she had cancer? Or like it wasn't. So it, it wasn't even something that was yes. in your mind, yes. and you could not have even thought about, about it. About it, it was very kwambali sana na my At this point in time, how old were you? What I'm what I'm like twenty one or something. So you 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 don't need. It's not that something that could have been contributed by any other like you had a major. Maybe lifestyle. Uh-huh. Alcohol. Uh, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> it's a big maybe. <laughs> 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 it's a very nice place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's anointed. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's so well. It is well because the saints have a history. Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. yes. What, so what came to mind first? So you get well, to St. Francis, yes. you get tested, did they tell you anything? After they, the, the count is too low, mm-hmm. what do they recommend? They, they just gave me some drug and they told me they would want a bone marrow test. Okay. That I go to Lancet, Kenya mm-hmm. to get yeah. a bone marrow test. Mm-hmm. So I called my dad, he told me it's Friday, I'm coming tomorrow, mm-hmm. just wait for me. Mm-hmm. Then, then we can go to hospital together. together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So on Sunday, my dad, on Saturday, my dad sends me to a blood specialist in town. Mm. I didn't find her, I came back home. Mm. Then on Sunday, I was too weak, I was pale. My hands were white, so my legs were blood. white, yeah. yeah. Mm. And that's when he decided to take me to Nairobi Women's Hanukkah. Mm. Getting to Nairobi Women's, my blood count was five. Oh God. Oh my so God. So between Friday, Friday and two, Sunday, two, yeah, two, two, two points down. Two points down, yeah. And that's when the doctor said, no, we have to admit him and call a blood specialist. Mm-hmm. So I was admitted, Nikaongezo Damu, five points. Mm-hmm. Uh, a blood specialist came, Akafanya Gwonma, test Hapa, Wakatoa, mm-hmm. Akainana test, Akainana samples. Mm-hmm. Then on Monday, that's when it, he confirmed, right? Actually, there is the specs of blood cancer, but mm-hmm. Siko sure ni blood cancer. Okay. If I'm given an opportunity, mm-hmm. you did 
that go to South Africa or India mm -hmm. for them to be sure what lands mm -hmm. currency it is. Oh, and this is in 2012? 2012. So that means we don't even have enough knowledge at the time as a country yes. of what exactly oh, yes. this means and this what means. it needs to be done. Mm -hmm. What came to your mind at Oh, time? death. Oh my. Death. You, thought you, you see, the problem is, uh, mm. not the problem. Mm. As I was, okay, arrangements were done by my family, mm. I went to India. Mm. All this time I'm going to India, I didn't know what was taking me to India. Oh, they so didn't tell you? They didn't tell me. So when the doctor actually confirmed that it was uh, a, blood say, cancer, a yeah. blood cancer, so he wasn't so sure. Yes. So your father, dad did not tell you? Yes. Nobody informed Nobody you about told anything? Me. How are they told able me. to hide that from oh. you? Did they, did they tell you a, like a substitute of what you could be having? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Nothing. And how are they planning for you to go to India? To, were you not uh, inquisitive about yeah, it question, to ask yes. why am I traveling mm -hmm. out? You see sometimes, mm -hmm. you see the trust a son or maybe a child that has one parent. Mm -hmm. It's enough. You know it's enough. It's my enough. dad is, my parents are making a the best position for my yes, yes. So as, as I was going to India, I knew I'll be there for. My dad was like, oh, "No, you're just going for some test. Mm. Two weeks, you should be back." Yeah. And I was like, mm, "That's a good break. Mm. Let me go to I India know. and come back." Yeah. Yeah. Well, you were at at, uh, at the hospital. Did so because you didn't know anything. You didn't even have any questions to no. ask. No. So you no. just thought, "I'm no. taking this trip, and then yes. after this trip, it's done. It's done. It's done. I'm, I'm coming back after two weeks. Now my family." And anyway, they say they're going to do some tests. Yes. So then you get to India. Wait, wait, wait. I get to India. What time you find your test? Dr. Yanambuja, the Indian doctor. Yeah. But we have confirmed his blood cancer. I'm telling you, what blood cancer you Who are you? Who is Kiawa? Who is Kiawa? If it was that time, it was that time. Who is Kiawa? Nalani. Nalani. And I told him, you know what? He was called doctor. He's called Dr. Shailas. I told him, you know what? Just go, eh? Let's talk. Let's talk about this thing tomorrow. So actually, when you know when you're in South Africa, when you're in India, that's when the doctor actually confirmed. That is when you actually knew what exactly took you there and you see the doctor knew i knew oh so oh. the doctor came to give you the news as a Ex confirmation, as a confirmation. Because, because the doctor knew you had had the exactly. speculation yes. that is, we are thinking yeah. it is blood cancer. cancer so the doctor came to actually confirm. to confirm to you and, and the time so that you rest <laughs> not knowing you don't know not yes. knowing you have no confidence. yes that thing so and you see think? all this time mm. the, there has been communication between the Kenyan hospital mm -hmm. and, and the Indian, Indian hospital. Indian hospital so yes. they are sending all these samples the and all that. And all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we have confirmed. Uh, what confirmation? What oh, I did you Because I'm imagining at 21 and you have troubles with the fact that you are traveling outside. Did you go with somebody or you? Yeah, I went with my aunt. So you went with your aunt? My aunt knew. Okay. So, so when you know, the results, yes. she walked out of the room. Because she knew you told she me. Yes. Knew you so at 21, I'm trying to imagine a 21-year-old young man who is in a foreign land, in a foreign country, in a hospital, and is given this news. Yeah. How did you react? Whoa. For sure, it was death. I saw death. Mm. I saw death. I was like, this is it. This is the last chance. This is the last chance. Did you think of, um, were you angry at the fact that your dad didn't tell you or your auntie didn't tell you? Were you even angry at the doctors in Kenya? Because anyway, if they had this speculation, why did they tell you? Because when you're 21, you are a, a, an adult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That yeah. Should be bothered me much. Mm -hmm. eh? What bothered me much is I'm dying. Okay. okay. My life is at the peak. Yes. Do you have just come here? I to do it. I want to see. Exactly, I do want to see. Hey. 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 I was like, oh no, it mm. can be happening. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. My wish is well, I just want to leave. Oh. That was when you certainly did. When you certainly did. Oh, God has been faithful. God is oh, yeah. so faithful. Yeah. Mentally, did this disturb you at that time? And when the news came, mm -hmm. it really disturbed me. That night, it was a Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. was, it, it was a long night. It was mm -hmm. a long night. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of thoughts going through my head. Mm -hmm. How cancer is death? Yeah. How long? Because you could. It's cancer and death. Yes. You didn't think of the. Mm -hmm. I didn't see anything in between. It's mm -hmm. just death. Yeah. Mm. Were you questioning what's the cause? Were you questioning why me? And who the are you? Why the why me? The okay. why me exactly? Yeah. The cause. I didn't care most level the cause. But why me? Yeah. I was like God. You just picked my mom. Yeah. We are only two. Yes. 
why me now? So my sister is left with who? Mm. And uh, were you directing these questions to somebody? To God. To God. I didn't even want to talk to my auntie. You were that auntie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So I just went. My time. I remember that Tuesday night. I really cried. Yeah. And I was telling God, I just need a second shot mm. in life. In life. Yeah. I don't want anything else. Just mm. give me a second shot in life. Mm. And I don't know where peace came from. Yeah. Because as a doctor was coming the other day on Wednesday, mm-hmm. he told me, you know what, we're gonna do this and this and this and this, chemotherapy, radiography, mm-hmm. multiple injections. Mm-hmm. And I was saying, you know what? Let's do this. Mm-hmm. Let's go. You yeah, let's go. The oh, let's go. Mm-hmm. You were ready for it. Yes, because, because I remember my mom's during my mom's massacre mm-hmm. there's a lady who preached and said there are three types of A's. Mm. You accept, mm. you adjust, mm. and you accelerate. Mm-hmm. I like that. So wow. I was like, the first chance I have to accept, I am in this situation. Yes. Then I yes. adjust. Yes. Mm-hmm. And after adjusting, mm-hmm. I'm ready for it. Yes. Accelerate. Yes. accelerate. Yes. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. You accept, yes. you adjust, yes. you accelerate. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Talk, talk to us about the treatment. How did wow. the treatment go? Niliambiona treaty wana kitu ito German Protocol of 2002. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, German Protocol of 2000. This is a doctor now telling me. Mm-hmm. Are they explaining this thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Before they even start. Okay. So we are going to use German Protocol of 2002 mm-hmm. that entails mm-hmm. four sessions of chemotherapy, mm-hmm. eight sessions of backbone injections, yeah. and 11 sessions of radiography. Mm-hmm. Then also um, drugs and all that. Not mm-hmm. because chemotherapy on Friday. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is two days later? Yeah, two days later. From when you got the news? Mm-hmm. When you, okay. Mm-hmm. To Gaza came out. And uh, did they tell you at what stage you were? Yeah. Or yeah. which stage were you at? Uh, stage one. Uh-huh. They, they got it very early. Did they yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Nice. So, and during the treatment, how did it affect you, especially with your family, yeah. finances? Because it's it's draining, mm-hmm. and uh, also with your friends, yeah. with the treatment. Because I know when you start the treatment, even your body is never the same again. Yeah. So how, how how did it affect you and your family mm-hmm. and even the people around you? And were you doing the treatment here in Kenya or in okay. India? Okay, first on family, very supportive mm-hmm. because everyone came together mm-hmm. for this course, mm-hmm. and I was able to leave the country in a week's time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at least people really came, 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 came to, mm. to give. Yeah. Then I left. And uh, finances, mm. it's really draining. Mm. Yeah. It's really, really draining. And I thank God, mm. it's not about finances. Yes. I, I, it's about Him. Because there are people with money, but they're still dying. That's oh, true. yeah, that's, that's very true. true. So I really give it back to God. It mm. was His case. Yeah. So He had to deal with me. Yeah. Then, number two, their friends had wrote me off. And they, when they had its cancer, they were like, ah, who's the man? Who's the man? Who's the man? Only one friend who stood with me throughout that time. And who is that friend? It's David Shukran. Yeah. Thank you. Shukran. Thank you. Shukran. Anaito Shukran. Anaito Shukran. 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 Asante. 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 We need friends like you in this life. He so. really went around looking for blood. Kujani wow. Mdonetia yeah. is all down and all that. Yeah. So you had this treatment in India or in Kenya? Mm. No, the treatment was in India. 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 Yes. So you had now to extend your lengthy yes. your stay. I was to go there for two weeks. The doctor tells you might be here for three to six months. How did that go? How long did you end up staying? Three, two and a half months. In two and a half months. Yeah, and so a half months. asking for money, you're with your yes. auntie. Your auntie never left you. So yes. her life has also gone on hold yes. for you, for her to be with mm. you. So for two months. Yeah. How was that like? Okay, we stayed with my auntie for one month mm-hmm. and the treatment for one month was quite quite heavy. Mm. The chemotherapy really affects the blood cells. Mm. It doesn't know how to distinguish between cancer cells and the good cells. The good cells. Yeah. So it kills mostly mm. all cells. Mm. And I remember after my first session on Friday, when you do chemotherapy on Friday, mm. you should do weekly on Friday. On Friday. Mm. Mm. But you now, have to give time for yes, the blood, for the to, blood to, re- mm. to come back and all. Mm. Mm. But now, after my first session, the second session mm. will not be administered because the immunity was really low. They wouldn't administer another dose mm. until now the blood cells come up. Mm. That means more time in hospital, mm. more money is being spent. Mm. I remember that Thursday night, no, Wednesday night, mm. I, I told God, you came through for Paul and Silas at midnight. Yeah. This is my midnight, you have to come you through. Have to come. During this time of treatment, 
how did it affect your relationship with God? Or at this time, uh, I'm sure you say like that night after the news, you really cried. Of course, you know there was a supreme being. Yeah, yeah. So even if you didn't have a relationship, how did it affect you in believing in God and and your trust in Him and all that? It really brought me closer. Because I remember when I was told that the unit is low, you can't administer another dose, mm. I stood with the Paul and Silas story when mm. they were in prison, mm. and I, I, I didn't sleep until midnight. And I told God, you mm. came through for these two guys mm. at, midnight. at midnight. This is my midnight. You have to come. You have to come. There is no other option. They came on Thursday, Max. Mm -hmm. Pimmed my blood samples. Mm -hmm. And they were, so we and they were like, they were like, no, we have never seen anything. Like that. This is you. Yeah, because God, did. God does not do the ordinary. He does the extraordinary. So they say, let's wait and see how they behave. Mm -hmm. So Saturday, they called you. Sunday, they called you. Monday, they called you. Then they were ready to. Second session, on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. and, wow. and the other three sessions, all mm -hmm. the Tuesday, 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 they come again. Chemotherapy four months, four weeks mm -hmm. finished. Mm -hmm. Amen. So the Indians so the also Lord said, your yes. mm -hmm. So the, the Indians were saying, hey, the African here very hard. But my veins collapsed. Mm -hmm. My my nails darkened, mm -hmm. but with time is ah, It is God. He restores. That's, that's, that's that is him. him. He, he restores. restores. The so I want to, at this time, you know, when, when all this started, you were 21. Yeah. So I found your own. Uh, uh, Joto. Joto. Could they date? Did you have a girlfriend by then? Oh, yes, I have. And how and how did that how did how did she take the news mm -hmm. or how did you break the news or how did your relationship go? She was very supportive mm -hmm. to date. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. very nice. very supportive. Mm -hmm. Calling every day. Mm -hmm. um, I hope I don't want to assume that is the one who ended up marrying. Apparently <laughs> no. <laughs> Apparently not because I know him. Apparently <laughs> not. <laughs> That lady deserves an applause. An applause. We respect, yes. respect, respect, respect you. Wherever you thank are, you. Respect. Thank and you. thank you for standing with. And yeah. thank you for representing us the right way. The right way. Yes. Misrepresenting too kiss. often. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for thank you. representing us the right way. Mm -hmm. But uh, let me let me encourage guys. Eh? Mm. The will of God mm. cannot take you. Mm where his grace will not sustain you. Yeah. Oh, yes. When I was in India, mm -hmm. my aunt went to one of the Methodist churches mm -hmm. and she gave her testimony mm -hmm. that we are here for treatment and all that. Mm -hmm. Because missing the talk of hospital, yeah, right? yeah. missing the talk of mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that testimony, my youth uncle, all of a sudden, I was in a worship room. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, one month, I was like, you have to get an apartment. You have to get an apartment. Like an outpatient. Yes. That's more money. You are renting an apartment. Rent. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Godly now. Mm -hmm. Get one room. New pair of camera. Fully furnished. Mm -hmm. Now, apart here. Mm -hmm. For free. Yeah, for the time that you'll be here. That's that's now, apart here. That's great. Ah, yeah. After the the duration that you were in India, then you came back. You came back yes. here. When you came back here, did you continue with the treatment? Yes. When I came back, I did radiation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's where my hair went. Mm -hmm. That's when I believe I knew all is vanity. Mm -hmm. One day I'm sleeping in the kiamkai party and you must see anyway. So sometimes I even preserve my hair and you see mm. I feel good about it. Because I don't think I'm going to see it. It's a testimony. It's a testimony. It's a testimony. It's a testimony. So I finished my treatment in 2013. Mm -hmm. And to this far, mm -hmm. God has been very faithful. Amen. Oh, that's amazing. Amazing. And now that, now that you're in a different phase, you're yeah. married, you have a child, yeah. of course there'll be more to come. Acting last one. Acting, acting, acting for now. <laughs> and the medical um, background of uh, the C, the C1, and having to know that it is hereditary and all that. Do you have any fears that maybe one of the child or 
do you have do you have that fear? Yeah. You know, yeah. want to to consider or, or think about it? Do you ever think about it? Oh yes, to some extent, mm-hmm. I have that fear. Mm-hmm. We discussed with my wife. Mm-hmm. The doctor had mentioned it. Mm-hmm. It is a possibility. Yeah. There is a possibility. Mm-hmm. Maybe one of our children mm-hmm. would get. Yeah. But um, with the faith I have, I believe that's all they need. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they can inherit other things. Yeah, 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 but, but not, not sickness. That. Not sickness. Uh, and I believe in the middle of the your line is your cancer. That is true. Tell us, how did you, how did you tell your wife? How, have you had this conversation with your wife? Oh yes. And and how how does that go? Because anyway, there is someone who probably would be going, in, uh, they, maybe a similar situation or something like that has come up, mm-hmm. and you just don't know how to go about this conversation. Mm-hmm. How did that go? You see, uh, I told her even when we were dating. Mm-hmm. And we've gone to hospital with her a few times when I was doing my clinics now back here. Mm-hmm. So she knew, mm-hmm. bearing in mind I wanted to share the rest of my life with, with her, her. Yeah, yeah. she needed to know what she was getting into. Okay. Okay. So from the word go, yeah. was like, oh, you lied. You didn't tell me, this is not what I was signing yeah. up to. Mm-hmm. Mrs. Wambobo, <laughs> thank you. Sana. Mm-hmm. Uh, sana. Mm-hmm. We need women like you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so she knows, she knew. Mm-hmm. And now we are here, parents of one. Oh, do you often go to clinics? Do you get checked? Do you have? Are you on any medication? Mm-hmm. Are there any prescriptions that you probably need to eat this or do this? Mm-hmm. Are there any of that, or it is completely done? Ah, I mean, normal is your story. Ah, normal is. Yeah. So check up when you are Zakawa. Zakawa. Like, come and meet me. Exactly. Like, you exactly. need. Like, you need. You know, it finished. Mm-hmm. Close chapter. Can you school and give me power? Is it to be as long as it's consumable? Yes, yes. Do you exactly. share this testimony often? Mm-hmm. With yes, yes. We even have like a group mm-hmm. where we a cancer support system mm-hmm. where we talk about our life experiences. Yeah. And especially when you are now on the age, we really encourage them. Mm-hmm. What 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 is that one advice as we wind up yeah. because of of course our time? What is that one advice you give to people who are out there who are who are victims and also the people who who are around these victims? What is that one advice? Especially the caregivers. The caregivers. And mm-hmm. what is that one thing that really stood stood out for you during your journey? Mm-hmm. And that is one thing that we want people out there to know, even how to deal with. Uh, like the you. one first and foremost for caregivers, mm-hmm. I really thank God for my family. Mm-hmm. They really stood by me. Okay. Even in those sessions where I felt that I don't want to eat, mm-hmm. the vomiting sensation, the mm-hmm. vomiting yeah. itself, mm-hmm. they were always there to mm-hmm. clean up. Mm-hmm. Okay. To clean up. Mm-hmm. Don't give up. Don't mm-hmm. give up on mm-hmm. cancer. Mm-hmm. Not patients. Mm-hmm. Cancer, fighting, yeah. 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 somebody going through the journey. Yeah. Don't give up on them. Please mm-hmm. be there. Be support system. Mm. Sometimes we don't want to eat. Mm. As much as you're pushing us mm. to eleven. It's, it's 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 what's going it's to It's what is good. Yes. And yes. especially I like what you're saying about caregivers because caregivers can also we, we who don't know what someone is going through, we completely neglect the caregivers. Mm. Mm. What is the mental state a caregiver is supposed to push forward? Because you see, you you already re- you are responding yes. to a system, to meds, to anger, to mm-hmm. everything else. But a caregiver is in the outside. So what 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 can you tell a caregiver mentally how to take absolutely care of themselves? Mm-hmm. N- number one, the, the the what the winning mentality. Okay. And that's one thing I realized with the doctors and the nurses in India. Mm-hmm. Okay. When they start a journey of treatment, mm-hmm. yes. their end goal is to win. It's okay. to win. Okay. So so as a caregiver, have that end goal. Mm-hmm. I will fight with this. Until until we we yeah. It's a journey we are doing yes. together. Yes. Okay. Especially my second mom, I mm. really thank you. My two sisters, mm. no, my three sisters, mm. Faith, mm. Carol, and Esther, mm. thank you. My dad, Philip, mm. thank you so much. Thank you so and much. And my wife, Asante Nisana, Mrs. Wambu Nancy, thank you, thank you, thank for, you, the you. for the support. For the support. Yes. You yes. cannot give up on mm. somebody going through this journey. Mm. The medication is crazy. Mm. The emotions are crazy. Mm. Sometimes you feel you're being pushed to eat. You don't want to eat. You're mm. just vomiting and all that. But mm. God is faithful. Mm. God is faithful. Mm. Just a few minutes to give someone hope. Yes. There could be someone who watches and mm. probably their spouse is going through cancer. Their child has gone through cancer. Yeah. Or someone they know has gone through cancer. I personally have, you have seen people who have gone through cancer. People who are very close to me and they want to be with the Lord. And probably I'm not able to even talk about it. You know, mm. someone was a caregiver and the person left. Or, you know, there's so much stigma. And I just want you to give them hope. To just 
reassure them. Having yeah, gone yeah. through it and still having yeah. a sober relationship with God, mm. I want to give you this chance to just give someone hope. Mm. Yeah. Because there are people who are feeling so hopeless. Or someone who's going through cancer right now, they're taking those meds mm. and they are seeing mm. death. So I just want to take this moment to just to encourage them. Just encourage them. First and foremost is, it's not by mistake mm. that you're going through a cancer journey. Yeah. God had already ordained it yes. in your life. Yeah. And number two, your biggest support system is from God because He is the author of your body. So He knows every organ mm. and how He has organized it. Mm. So go back to your Creator. Let your hope be fully filled mm. in Him. Mm. I stand as a testimony mm. that you can go through it mm. and you can make it. Mm. So keep hoping, keep fighting, mm. and accept where you are. Then start adjusting to the drugs, mm. to the foodstuffs, mm. to the medication you're getting. Mm. And have a spirit to live. Mm. Actually, one thing I say, mm. I got a spirit to live. Mm. I wanted to live. <laughs> and wanting to, to live. live. Uh, yes, you have to, to, to live. live. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Mm. For testing or going to see a doctor, what would you say? Where do we start? Because see, this is cancer month and people are like, I don't want to go and get those news and then mm. my life paralyzes. So, because it is normal. And you know what? Mm. Cancer is not a death sentence. It is not. It is not. I certainly believe it. Not it is not. Not. Because you are living a testimony. Okay, thank you so much. I wanted to give a big thank you. To anyone you would want to speak to, Whoa. especially those who you mentioned are giving support, and, and then you can wrap it up for us. Okay. Mm. Number one, I'll start with <laughs> my wife Nancy. Mm. Thank you so much for the support system you've given in my life, mm. and of course our daughter Zoe. Mm. Uh, thank you also to my second mom, mm. uh, Florence, mm. and my sisters, mm. Faith, my big sister. Thank you for being a mother to me. And Carol and Esther, thank you for being the baby sisters that have really encouraged me in this journey. Mm. Over and above to my whole family, to my dad. Buddha, I'm going to love you. I'm going to love you. I'm going to love you. If someone wants to get in touch with oh, you, yes. because, uh, you said you have a cancer support system, mm. someone would want to just even just pray with them over the phone or just give them hope. Mm. You know, how would they get it? But they feel free to contact me. You know, we are tested to become a testimony. Mm. Yes. So you can reach me through mm. meds. Mm. You can reach me through Wamaiza. Mm. Mm. Or you can also reach me directly. 0725-824-765. We shall leave it on, on the description box for you. In yes. Case yes. I love to work with you, mm. to encourage you, mm. and just to be a motivation that you can make it. And you will. it is not a death sentence. Oh yes. You know what I have gotten from whole, the whole of this discussion and every day is a learning day. I have learned that you need to adjust, to, ad, to accept, to adjust and accelerate in all manners of your life. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> this is Saisamonga. You don't want to be. You don't want to be anywhere else. Yes. Subscribe, like, share and comment. Yes. And also go to our uh, our all, all all our channels please like share and subscribe and please don't forget to engage us in the comment section we love let us have this discussion mm -hmm. let us talk this is cancer man let us talk about it till next time what is it bye, bye. bye. bye.